are here as uh, not only uh, Kenyan leaders, uh, but uh, national leaders. And uh, we support uh, the discourse, the dialogue that is taking place uh, and uh, the agenda that is uh, being taken up at the Bumas of Kenya. And uh, as a people who believe in peace, and the people who believe in uh, uh, us working together as a people who want development. We fully support uh, the dialogue, but it must be in a manner and in a situation that adds value to our country. And as the discussion is acceptable and accepted, uh, um, the bipartisan talks, even individual talks, should be encouraged. And we condemn a situation where uh, if certain people, be they uh, leaders, and more particularly what recently happened where our members of parliament, who are in parliament, who voted and expressed their rights in on the financial bill, and members of parliament who talk with the president are being penalized and are being punished for uh, embracing unity and talking to the presidents of Kenya and Rwanda so the 52 communities can be together are being punished because they talk to the president. But these very same people who are punishing them, when they talk to the president, nobody condemns them. I think discussion, dialogue is important, whether it's done collectively or individually. And the sad thing is that uh, there are leaders who are in minority, who come from other parts of the country. No action has been taken uh, to, on them when they've talked to the president. And you find this action is only concentrated on uh, members of parliament from the local community. This is intimidation, is using the laws as a chattel for personal aggrandization for, to create fear so that nobody else can do what is good for the community. So it's just left to one person.